How you doing? This is Don Kingdom 362 playing on the Gun Muse. We're going to do some website updates today. And we've got a new calculator, so we're going to talk about that a bit. And we're going to talk about uh, the uses between the phones and the website because we're doing a lot more blending. Plus, we have to acknowledge that a lot more people are using their smart TV to pull up the web page. And we're trying to make it cleaner and easier to use for, on all the platforms. There is no universal standard. I wish there was. Uh, it doesn't work that way. Even though everybody claims their method is universal, they are wrong. Uh, I wish there was just one standard. That's what it is. This is the way it's going to look like. So what we're going to talk about now is the meat shield. And the reason we're going to talk about a meat shield calculator is we were talking about a meat shield in the live uh, session the other day. And we talk about meat shields a lot. And I went and did some keyword research on it and realized I was ranked number one on YouTube for meat shield calculator. I didn't own a meat shield calculator. It's just that no one had done the work to provide guidance on how to build a proper meat shield. We talk about it. And quite frankly, we wrote, we throw out random round numbers when we talked about it. They don't have to be random. They don't have to be round. And if you're just trying, if you're just, if you only got a thousand speed ups during event, you want to make the most of that thousand speed ups so that you don't, so that you have more troops the next time you got a round of speed ups during the next event so that you keep growing from event to event, event. And this page is going to be key to that. This is the method we use. Uh, <clears throat> been doing it in our heads for a while, just making sure that we can withstand a certain strike and what we lose. And then once I hit a certain level of loss, I stop. I know that I need to get bigger. If I'm losing now, I need to be bigger next time. So this is a, you go in here and you type in your March cap. Okay. And your March cat gives us an idea of your castle size. So don't get too stuck in the weeds that I didn't ask you what, your castle size is uh, it, it's this is a good guidance this is not for building that guy who sits in the middle of the forest and dares everybody to hit him meat shield that one that guy is gonna stack t2s t4s to infinity and I'm talking like six seven million and he knows he's gonna lose them but he also knows he's gonna have to buy them back the, uh, so, you see me just getting annoyed with my phone ding-donging. So, if I turn around and say, uh, now, this is according to your play style, and I couldn't really put this in the calculator according to your play style because that is an infinite variability. But let's say you typically have two marches out while, during a UAC. So you need to, when you're setting up and building of, building up troops, you need to uh, take two marches from our whatever calculator you're using, set them out in camps, and then build up these layers. So if we go down here to like the T2s, after you've set two marches out, you still need 546,000 T2s in your castle. Okay? Not total when you're doing nothing. This is what needs to be at home when somebody springs in behind you and speed marches you. Make sure you have your airship beacon on, folks. Otherwise, my calculator is useless to you because you did not defend yourself properly. I literally do not consider you to be on the defensive ever if you do not have your airship in your castle or the beacon on to represent your airship or the air cannon. They usually give that as a discount. Store Stockpile your goal for that stuff. All right. Now we don't have T-11s and T-12s. Why? They're offensive strikes. Uh, the person who has T-11s, T-12s should have had so much of those built up that 
it gives them a scary power number because they got a bunch of them. And they may really need to have five marches full of them, which is going to be in the millions anyway. Uh, if you're at the point of losing T-11s, T-12s defensively, you have screwed yourself. Your day is going wrong, and this is going to be very, very harsh. You're going to be down for months, or you're going to write a big, big, big damn check. The uh, So, now, I wanted to bring over, here is my phone. See, it says right over there, Don's phone. All right. The reason I'm bringing this over is the menus. On a phone, we got our main menu, right? Well, on the website, there's actually another menu below this that has just the calculators. And it is like really hard for me to select this using this interface. So, once to refresh the ad every time. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm clicking the wrong thing. Okay, how about I scroll down? <laughs> oh man I've done this with my finger on my phone it's not as hard as it is with this thing there we go Ah, uh, so I shortened the names made it a little easier to go on there I've got my I, 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 the only the only calculator that's not up there is the old old uh, uh, attempted death calculator it's an irrelevant calculator so I don't put it up there no more it is in the spreadsheets. You guys keep asking me for spreadsheets. They're there. You're not looking. I get it. I'm not the one truncating the menus. It is the phone doing it. This is the website I built right here. I don't have what's called AMP turned on where it's supposed to make it easier for you. Google and Apple are literally reading my code and saying, eh, I don't think he knows what he's doing. I'm going to make it better for him. And they're not making it better because what I wanted was I wanted this calculator out in the open where you can see it. I don't want you to have to click buttons. Every time you got to click something to find something, people don't do that. And I hope you're not one of those that you, you can take the time to go private message me that you can't find something but you can't take the time to click a button to go figure out that I probably did not build a website and run a half a million people through it without putting it out there for everybody to see. It's out there. You can see it. I promise you. Uh, so here it is on the website. Now, I also put it down in the footer. Down here. Hold on. my. Uh, bring the phone back. So we can go down to the footer. on a reorganized deal. There's another menu where it doesn't have a second drop down menu. It's a lot easier to access these things. I can then go to the meat sh Oh, that thing hates me. And it shows me a little slider bar that I can't seem to grab. Good thing I got a mouse wheel. All right, so go down here. Now there's a Michio calculator. And I made it bigger, easier to read, and some offsetting colors in there. And basically use white and black instead of trying to be creative and things like that. All you're wanting is information off this page. I realize it. Uh, we got to have ads. Got to be able to pay for the bandwidth we're sucking up. Uh, the, I am going to some, we, we're not there yet, but the guys who donate to the YouTube, we are going to work on pulling the ads off the website for you guys. Uh, I got a whole bunch of stuff to fi finish to do that. I, I want to remove those ads from the website completely. And right now it doesn't work. I, I, we, we've been trying. I got two, three different software guys that are they're handing me says, "Oh yeah, I can do that." Yeah, it doesn't work, uh, and it's it has more to do with our membership software. So, uh, if you want to play this game on PC, down in the comments is a link 
to install Guns of Glory on your personal computer. Uh, it's a lot easier to deal with it that way. And you can swap back and forth. If you're going to be using Excel spreadsheets, that's what you got to do. Uh, on the website, I've got a very low cost. If you got some computer, that, and a lot of you guys are going, well, my laptop's from like 2009. Uh, if you got one of those laptops, they're more than capable. Uh, go read the article I got on the website. On It's about 50 bucks to turn that thing into a better than new laptop all by yourself. Everything else is free except for the new hard drive. Buy the new hard drive. Do not let your buddy tell you, hey, you can just wipe out the old one and start the new one. It's as good as new. It is not good as new. It was never good when it was new. They put the cheapest piece of crap they could find in there. And your hard drive is 99% of the speed of the computer. It is now old and worn out. Go get a new SSD. It works in any, any computer now. 50 bucks for a 500 gig one which is way more than you'll ever need. I promise you. Uh, unless you're a 12 year old girl who likes to take a lot of these photos, then uh, you, you will never fill that hard drive up. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, please take use of this. Make sure you're young as people before their events, make sure people know to come out here and get this done folks. Uh, we've got something they can copy directly from they don't have to guess anymore uh, i don't understand now all you have to say is i don't understand go here do this you don't need to understand you'll understand the first time you don't die that's that'll be that's when the aha moment will come okay so if you're trying to help out your uh alliance i'm hoping that i've done that for you here i appreciate it thank you